Hey, Moran Pobert here with another video uh, of how to talk to business owners, how to start building rapport, how to start negotiating to get your equity free deal. And in the last video, I gave you an example on how I basically added value when I get equity for my marketing services. Um, and again, this is just like a generic conversation to begin with. Uh, remember, it's all about the way you position yourself. The more you know about your topic, the easier it will be for you to sell it. Um, I want to, un to, to make you understand, guys, that um, your positioning, the way that people view you before you even talk to them, is as crucial as the actual conversation. Um, as you can see, I don't really talk about much um, details on what exactly we're going to do. I just give him the overall plan to show him, hey, here's what I do. I know what, you, what I do. And I want him to see me as the expert. Now, sometimes... Being the expert is not about talking more. It's more about asking the right questions and more about um, just like talking about their pain and telling them that you can provide results. So it's all about basically showing them that staying where they are will be more painful than working with you and giving you equity. Um, so yeah, just thought about it and wanted to tell that. Um, so you got an example on how to add value when you offer marketing service and, and like i said you can basically change the script and use whatever you need to you to basically fit your service um right now i want to talk to you more about things that i'm doing right now and how i'm adding value to businesses right now um so for me my my main thing right now is we're looking to buy businesses and we're looking to merge businesses and for me merging businesses is basically the next level of uh, equity consulting um I'll show you, you're going to see by basically watching this presentation of how it works. Um, it's amazing. I love it. And there's so much opportunities in there. Mm. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give you this example as well. Um, another point is that I'm not really using those slides anymore right now because I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing everything on the phone, call, um, or just usually with my headphones on Skype or something like that. It's just because I'm, I'm talking with businesses and business owners from all over the world and it just... Um, too much time to just fly for meetings and uh, just a waste to be honest so uh, I think I said it unless I'm there to close a deal or to get a check there's no way I'm meeting someone um, yeah so here's an example on what I'm saying to people um, when I'm starting a conversation adding some value and just building some rapport so again every conversation I start is all about um, just like saying hi how's it going how's your day going um, just telling them that hey this is just a um, opportunity for us to get to know each other you know just just build a rapport like you would build with uh, someone who ref so like talk with them as if a good friend referred them to you and you're just like um oh, oh you you're john's friend awesome and how's it going cool yeah how are things yeah let's get to know each other like, let's see if we can help each other that's the old vibe guys you dare to see if you can help them and they're they are there to basically realize eventually that they need your help um, and that's how it goes and, and works and it's all about rapport and relationships and um, them trusting you so yeah as soon as basically I, I get to know you i'm just like cool man um let me do you want to basically ask me questions first or you want me to go uh, through and tell you a little bit about ourselves and what we're doing um and either way is fine many of them will just tell you hey just go ahead many of them will say be like oh cool man yeah let me tell you about ourselves our business um either of those happens a lot like and either way let just let the conversation flow and when they end talking about themselves first of all it's a great chance for you to eventually to even know if you want to work with them and if you do uh, awesome keep the conversation if you know it you can just stop the conversation telling hey uh, awesome to know you man but it, it sounds like we're not a good fit and um, i wish you the best is there anything else i can help you with and, and just end the conversation there and if you feel like it's a fit already just keep with your script with whatever you want to say to add value so um, yeah, let's get right to it. Um, I skipped the first few um, slides from the um, last presentation, just about the multiples and stuff like that. Usually when I'm talking with businesses about merger opportunities, they already know about multiples and how much their business usually can sell for um, because I'm talking with really large businesses right now. So they're pretty business saving. Um, at the same time, yeah, whatever works for you guys, you go and tell them whatever uh, they need to know about um, you providing the service. So, yeah, basically tell them, hey, um, there are basically four reasons 
uh, you or most business owners like you stuff. Uh, one of them is usually the business dependent on the owner, which is the one uh, number one killer on why no one will buy you uh, because a potential buyer is looking to buy you. And uh, I'm going to literally create a module on how to optimize those things, guys. I'm, I'm excited to show you that. But um, yeah, basically tell them, hey, the business dependent on you probably. Um, second thing is that there's a lack of uh, organic growth. And top people, sales, marketing, leadership, HR, systems, you're just missing the, the right people. Um, you, basically, there's a lack of external growth. Um, so no capital or skills um, to bolt on other small companies. So basically, I'm reading from here. Like, literally, it's harder for me to read from here than just talk about it. Uh, and just the fourth thing is lack of capital to fund uh, growth after one, two, three are addressed. So that's what I'm telling. Hey, the reason your stock is probably one, the business depending on you, two, there is a lack of organic growth, which comes with um, top people, uh, sales and marketing, leadership, HR systems, or um, lack of external growth, which is you don't have capital or the skills to buy. And Bolton is basically buying uh, more uh, similar companies to your company. So you just don't have the skills, experience, or capital to buy those other companies and bolt them on to yours. Um, and the fourth thing is just lack of capital. You just don't have the fund to either grow um, to just get more uh, people and more marketing sales and all those things, right? So that's what I tell them. Then I go um, basically and talk about internal internal growth and I tell them, hey, we have, um, I'm just telling about ourselves, like we have some of the world's most brilliant marketers on our team. We have a team of legal. I just tell them, hey, here's, here's how we can help. Here's what I see and the way I see that we can add value to you, your company and um, if it sounds like a fit, tell me and we can move forward. If not, it's all good. But overall, we have amazing marketers on our team. We have legal accounting, HR, project management, management, management team, import and export department with offices around the world, award-winning technology and web team, social media and more. Um, so again, use whatever works for you, right? I just tell them a little bit about us, what we can help with. I tell them we also, we. so basically what I tell them is, hey, we want to build a group of 10, 20, 30 companies like yours in this, your sector. And right now your business is depending on you and you could probably sell it for only two to four time profits right now. What we want to do is we're going to group you with other similar companies. We'll basically group few companies like yours together. We'll use all the synergies, cross selling, upselling between those companies. We'll grow them internally like crazy. And eventually we're going to sell them for eight to 10 times to 12 times profit. Um, now on other than internal growth, we are also going to um, bolt on other companies uh, using our skills. We're going to help you buy more companies, basically going to competitors, similar companies that have maybe um, similar type of client, but they have a different uh, type of skill and service that they can provide. And then we just cross selling each on each one of them with another, and we can grow really fast that way. So I tell them all about those things and we tell them, hey, we have access to all the capital you'll ever need to find your growth uh, internally or externally to buy more companies, which is external growth or to help with sales, marketing system, HR, etc. Now, guys, I'm literally mumbling here and just reading from the presentation, but, you know, just make it a normal conversation. Tell me, hey, here's what we can help with. Uh, we have a team of this, this and this and this. Do you have something like this right now in the business? Ah, cool. Um, the business is dependent on you right now, I'd assume, right? Do you feel like you want to be more the strategic person, more the person who calls the shots, or do you still want to manage the day-to-day -day stuff? Like, just get to a normal conversation with the person, see where he stands with things, what his pain, what what are what are his dreams, and that's something I'm going to talk more about in the closing script. Like for me right now, it's literally all combined together, all mixed up. And for me, just like a conversation, I'm just talking about what I do. They talk about what they do. And then we just in the like, cool, man. Yeah, let's get a deal going. For you, I literally scripted it out so you could just walk step by step and make it happen. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, continue with this. And I tell them, hey, we have the relationships and resources to sell the company for high dollars, um, anywhere between 8 to 12 time profit multiples versus two to four, which you could maybe sell right now yours. So here's the question. Um, how you, are you happy um, where you are right now owning 100% of a 2 million company? Or would you rather have a much a smaller piece of a much bigger pie and basically own 25% in a, let's say, $20 million company? Um, and that's our goal, to grow that 
uh, group of ours to at least 20 million dollar company in the next few years and you're going to have 25 percent of it um, and that's it I'm basically showing that by having me in the team and getting equity by basically helping him merging with all those other companies giving him access to capital internal growth external growth he could be part of a much larger entity and that's your selling proposition i don't care what you offer if you're often offering marketing services coaching services um, financial hr like, again i don't care what your services and what's your expertise as long as you can help him that's the thing you basically tell them hey are you okay with having a smaller percentages of a much larger entity because i will help you get there and here are the results I can give you. Here's what I'm going to do to you. And that's how it works. I basically show him, hey, you're going to get this and this and this. Uh, just take less. Just give me some percentage of that, like we said in the beginning. And that's how it works. And yeah, now move to... So like I said, the way I kind of like see it in my head and the way I work with things is usually I get to know the person. I tell him a little bit about what, what I do, how we do it. Um, then in the end of the call, I'm just like, cool, man, yeah, let's sign an NDA so you can send me the information and let's take it from there. He sent me all the uh, information uh, and signed an NDA. We both have copies. And then we either have a few more calls to build rapport. And um, when I feel like I have all the information I need to know if I even want or can't do it or can do a deal with him, then I just um, schedule kind of like a, on my end, I feel like it's the final meeting. Uh, the closing meeting and that's where i make them the offer i get to know them a little bit more personally a little bit more about their business get them more emotional before i tell them exactly what i offer to them about the percentage i'm going to take and about the management fee i'm going to take if i'm going to take um yeah like i said get management get paid a management fee along the way rinse and repeat and that's how it works so i hope you like this um example of how i get equity um doing mergers between companies and yeah just change it um to your service and um i'd say practice it guys rinse repeat practice it to yourself read it to yourself um you need to be the expert you need to know about what we what you're talking um and that's that's all you need um, you don't need to show them those slides although if you're all about doing presentations to people and go to their office and stuff like that and maybe there are a few shareholders and there's like a conference call and you want to put slides on Skype or stuff like that, then by all means do it. Uh, for me, I'm just, I just like my headphones and um, my, my phone and Skype and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. So whatever works for you, just do it guys and I hope you enjoyed it.